What's up guys? It is me, Say by the Stylist, and I am back again with another video. And today we are doing a twist. With a twist. It's a flat, flat, flat twist. Okay, so you guys, class is in session. Pull your chairs up and get on in here. And let's learn how to do a flat twist. All right, so as you guys can see, my client is 100% natural. She's been natural for some years now. I am just going through her hair with some leave-in conditioner and some of this creme de la curls hair lotion that I got from Gorgeous Strands. Um, I kind of just like use a generous amount and just disperse that all throughout her hair to just give um, more moisture to her hair because we are not blow drying her hair now she does love to use um or to do actually protective styles that don't require heat and if it does require heat she likes to have low heat um so today we're going to do this flat twist and we're not going to apply any heat to her hair so i've already started applying my foam her hair is already sectioned out and parted and as you guys can see that I'm combing her hair with the comb. Usually I would use a Demon brush, but I don't know where it was. So I just used the comb, it still worked the same. I'm also using jam on her roots because I want her roots to be slick down. So I did a combination here, okay? So I used three different products. I used the jam on her, on her roots to make sure that it's slicked down. And then, I use the foam by Congo, you guys, and it has some um, oil in it. I, I can't even try to pr pronounce it, but some oil in there to help with the moisture of the hair and to keep your hair soft. And then I went in with another Congo product, this right here, this Congo Perfecta Curls and Ringlet Gel. Guys, this gel is very lightweight. If you have not tried it, please try it. I will put the information in the description box below and you guys will um, get a chance to just try it out on your own. So, all right, so follow me now because I'm a hot girl. <laughs> all right, so I have already started the twisting process and what I'm basically doing is scooping and regrouping, okay? So you guys follow me. Scoop and regroup now if you are used to doing cornrows you're gonna automatically like your fingers are automatically going to want to do a cornrow but don't do that just use your index finger and your thumb and each time that you scoop you grab hair you see that you're grabbing hair as you scoop and regroup okay now i did speed this up because i did not want to bore you all um, I wanted to keep y'all's attention, but you can see those partings in her hair because each time that I'm going through scooping, I'm grabbing another section of hair. And you know, guys, the way that I have my nails done really helps with the um, parting as well too. So I'm just doing a two strand twist at the end when I get to the nape of her neck and then I'll take my comb and um, just kind of do like a comb coil at the end. So. Um, the ends of her hair can be combed. So I'm going to repeat this process all throughout her hair. So you guys just watch as I scoop and regroup. Okay, now scoop and regroup. One more time, scoop and regroup. Okay, so we are on our second section of hair. And like I said, guys, before we're going to repeat the steps, I spray my water, I put my foam, I put the um, the jam on the roots and then I add a little bit of Perfecta on top of the foam okay just to give it more of a slip we are all about moisturizing the hair everything that I'm using has moisture in it to allow the hair to be soft so that's why I'm using everything or all the three products that I'm using and I'm being careful like as far as like strategically placing it on here because um I need the product to work on its own individually like and by that I mean like when I put the shine and jam on the roots I want the roots to lay flat I don't want it to be combined with the foam because it's not going to give that slick look so that's my main purpose for using this shine and jam on the roots because I need I need the roots to lay it down okay 
and then um, I put the foam and the Congo Perfecta on the rest of the hair from the mid jack down onto the end um, so that when I twist it flows together it's soft it's moisturized and also when she takes her hair down um, she has a very defined curl pattern so remember y'all don't remember anything else in this video just remember to scoop grab and regroup okay so you want to scoop the hair you want to grab a section of hair and you want to twist it's like twisting doing a flat twist on the scalp so i'm making it fun for you guys that's why i came up with the scoop and regroup say what scoop and regroup everybody now scoop and regroup okay so if y'all feeling the scoop and regroup hashtag scoop and regroup in the comment section below because i want you guys to get this i want you guys to learn flat twisting is super easy um it's like the sister of a cornrow okay it's like it's like the twin you know the cornrows are triplets and then the flat twists are twins so it's easier to deal with twins than it is to deal with triplets so i want you guys to get it if you guys have any questions you know or comments put it in the comment section below but this video is meant to be fun and um i just want you guys to enjoy it and learn <laughs> so if you are new to my channel please 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 don't forget to subscribe if you feel like you're learning something because it's absolutely free okay um i want to welcome all my new subscribers to my ogs thank you guys for being here again and watching another video of mine and i hope you guys learned something as well okay so i am just going to continue to twist and coil at the end you guys see those coils at the end and i'm also using a, a little clip to just kind of hold the twist because sometimes um when you flat twist it will try to like kick back and kind of be loose towards the nape of the neck and so that's why i use the clip to hold it in place so that it won't um kind of like kick back and like reverse so those clips are very important if you don't have any clips please get you some little baby duck bill clips okay and let me correct myself before the trolls come out and start disliking my video because I called it baby duck bill clips. They're called double prong clips. That's the name of the clips. Double prong clips. You want to make sure you get those. Those are very important, especially when you're doing this type of style. Okay, so I'm so proud of you guys, the ones that are actually doing their hair while they're watching my video and they're getting the whole scooping and regrouping. You guys always make sure that you comb out every single section. You are spraying every single section as you're going, you're detangling, and you're starting from the ends on down to the uh, 
roots when you detangle. I always start from the ends of the hair, okay? And make sure that each section of hair has enough product. That's how you're gonna make sure that your curls are very defined. So I'm proud of you guys. Keep going. Let's keep scooping and regrouping and making these flat twists look nice. And one thing I wanna add in too, guys, is whenever you do flat twists, it is not meant to be perfect. Only thing that you have to worry about is the tension that you put on the twist. Even if you don't use like tight tension on each twist, um, if you twist it good enough and you allow your hair to sufficient, sufficiently dry, you have enough products on here and you allow it to sufficiently dry and you take it down, then you will have a defined curl pattern. And um, it does not have to be as neat as mine. Um, trust me guys, it will still come out amazing. So you guys give yourself a pat on the back if you are doing it. Um, and I'm sure that your flat twist is gonna come out beautiful. So we'll continue to twist. Alright guys, so she is going to keep her hair like this in this style. We're not taking her hair down. This is one of the things that I love about flat twisting is that it's a two-in-one hairstyle. Now, she did sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes. I didn't give her that much dryer time because, again, she's going to wear her style like this. And by the time she decides to take it down, whether it be a week from this, the time that we did it, her hair is going to be completely dry. So. I am just kind of um, making up some stuff back here, guys. It's kind of like a braid that I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna use some hairpins and uh, I'm gonna tuck her hair in so it can just kind of be like a little bun. So I just did like a little crossover method, guys. I, listen, I literally just made this up while I was doing her hair. I've seen pictures of people do um, little buns in the back of their hair but I could just I never can figure out how they do it so I just kind of just freestyled it and did my own thing so you guys can do the same thing if you want to make a little braid and then take some hair pins and just pin the braid up in the um, at the back of her head and the nape of her head then it would still work I used the combination of bobby pins and hair pins just to make sure that she has enough security to where it will not come down so always make sure that you ask your client if um, they're being poked by the bobby pin because that's the most uncomfortable thing for them. So I always make sure that I do that. But um, overall, uh, this is pretty much the complete look. Um, she's going to wear this for the next two weeks or three weeks and take it down and enjoy her curl pattern. So again, guys, if you found this video to be useful in any way please don't forget to comment share like subscribe do all of those amazing things because guess what it is absolutely free and i am just using a little bit of jamaican black casserole on her scalp just to give her a little bit more moisture i'm all about moisture guys i will moisturize your hair <laughs> um so i will see you guys in the next video bye bye